Welcome to our channel my dear students. Today we are going to talk about the very important topic that is the conversion of ethanoic acid to propanoic acid. Today we are going to talk about uh, this thing also that is vice versa that is propanoic acid to ethanoic acid as we are going to discuss. So here the ethanoic acid have to write the structure whenever you do the conversion you have to write the structure properly. So here ethanoic acid, two carbon containing acid, that is ethanoic acid, propanoic acid, that is three carbon containing, that is CH3, CH2, CO, OH3, this is called the propanoic acid. So here you just look at the reactant and product, here only we have two carbon atoms, here we have three number of carbon atoms. So I have to increase one number of carbon atom, by the way I have to add CN as a, KCN I have to add so by the way, I can increase the number of carbon atoms. So before that, if you want to do that thing, okay, I need to reduce it, lithium aluminium hydride. This will be acting as a good reducing agent. This acid can be converted into alcohols. So same number containing alcohols. That is the CH3, CH2, OH I got. Once I got this product, that is CH3, CH2, OH, alcohol I got. So after that, I have to use either PCL5 or SOCl2 I can use. So as you know the trick, so here uh, once you use SOCl2 or PCL5, so here Cl is there, one Cl is there. PCL5, two Cl, so, uh, totally five Cl is there. One Cl I have used here, one Cl I have used here. So remaining PCL3 is there. That can be attached with POCl3. So I will be getting the product CH3, CH2, Cl along with that. What kind of product? That is POCl3 with HCl. Okay. Now I got ethyl chloride as my product. Once I got ethyl chloride as my product, I can add with KCN. So now the KCL is getting eliminated. I will be getting a product that is CH3, CH2, CN. Once I got this product, it can be undergoing oxidation or otherwise complete hydrolysis. Whether it may complete hydrolysis hydrolysis I can use otherwise I can do oxidation if I do oxidation I will be getting my product as propanoic acid I think so you understand very well and here the vice versa conversion that is propanoic acid to ethanoic acid so whenever we do the conversion we have to write the structure first then whatever whatever what are the difference between the reactant and product we have to understand so here propanoic acid, how many number of carbon atom? CH3, CH2, COOH is this, that is propanoic acid. So what about ethanoic acid? That is CH3, COOH is there. So now my reactant is having three carbon atoms, my product is having two carbon atoms. So I have to remove one number of carbon atom from that reactant. So for that what I have to do? So here my reactant. So just I am going to react with ammonia. Okay, so what I'll be getting a product? So I'll be getting a product that is CH3, CH2, here C double band O and N touch 2. Whenever the ammonia is being reacted with a carbonyl compound, that time water will be eliminated as product. So here the water is getting eliminated. So here H and here it is H2 from ammonia. That is H2O is getting eliminated. I'll be getting a product as amide. Once I got amide, so now I can able to reduce the number of carbon atom that is NaOH with Br2 or otherwise it will be named as NaOBr. Sometimes the exam question paper will be given this kind of uh, reagent that is NaOBr. That is nothing but NaOH and Br2 that is Hoffman bromamide degradating agent. So the Hoffman bromide degradating agent what is the rule? So what is the rule? So here it removes the CO group. That is what I will be getting a product CH3, CH2, NH2. So probably I got amine. Once I got amine, my work is very simple. Just I am going to add Na, NO2 as well as HCl. If I add NaO to HCl, I will be getting a product like this. That is CH3, CH2, N2 plus Cl minus. That is what I will be getting diazonium salt. It is very unstable. Why it is unstable? Because it is aliphatic one. If it is aromatic, sometimes it may be a stable one for, for a little stable. But here it is very highly unstable. Once I got this unstable product, if I add water, if I add water, what will be getting a product? That is CH3, 
CH two OH. Okay, so I'll be getting ethanol as a product. Once I got this product, I can use some oxidizing agent KMnO four KMn. O4, KMnO4 or acidified KMnO4 you can use as CD5 KMnO4 that time so it will be getting oxidized as alcohol to acid 2 carbon containing alcohol I will be getting 2 carbon containing acid are you able to understand? I think so you understand very well thank you so much for watching please go forward to others to get benefit and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching thank you